Hello and welcome back to the channel folks, Heir of Hashut here and we're going to be continuing the Chaos Dwarves campaign. I know I missed a day, I've been trying to get this out daily and it will mostly be daily. There's going to be occasions where I can't get it out daily, um, but I will do my best for you. I know that you all need the Chaos Choo Choo Train to keep on rolling here and uh, like I said I'll try and keep it going. I need to get to your comments. Some of you had some more unit names, so let me go grab those real quick. All right, I got a whole bunch of your names incorporated here. Let me cover some of them. Um, we got Chorfus Dwarfus here on some of our Chaos Dwarf Warriors. Appreciate that. That was a nice suggestion. And then we have the Blunder Busters. We already had the Blunder Boys. We added Average Florida Dwarves here and the Boom Brigade. So we've got some good names there. Uh, we got Iron Chef and Hot Mess still. Uh, the Demon's Tongue, the Red Bull Gives You Wing. Uh, our Centaurs need some names, so we've got quite a few of those if you all want to come up with some. But we even got some Hobgoblin names, too. You all are very liberal with the names in the last comments, which I like. So feel free to keep that coming if you want. Um, so we, we got the Come Get Some here. I liked that name. That was a good one. We got the Angry Garden Gnomes and the Roid Minions, and we even got a name for the uh, Skin Wolves here. These are the Ratting Hounds, because they're just specifically for hunting down rats, so... Excellent names. Appreciate the uh, participation there. I love reading the names, by the way. All the comments are fun. In fact, I got some really good um, comments. Someone mentioned, for instance, in one of the comments that um, the factories might have better ports, so I need to check into that. And then uh, someone also pointed out... Um, uh, they had a... Oh, what was it? Crap. I don't know. Now I'm going to forget. I'll have to get back through here. But someone had pointed out something else important to me. Oh, um, uh, they had mentioned, too, that I need to take a look at my equipment and see if I get anything. And then Clone Trooper Wheeler, might I add my favorite Clone Trooper and a longtime supporter, huge supporter of the channel, says, Pizza the Hut's motto is you can't out Pizza the Hut. I don't know how I forget Pizza Hut's motto. I mean, as a person who has eaten plenty of pizza in his life, I should be ashamed of myself. But thank you for the reminder, Clone Trooper. Hope you're doing well. Uh, definitely need to get streaming again. Um, I miss streaming with you all. I'm trying to get back to a schedule that works for me, and I feel like I've gotten my videos back on track to the level that is pretty much where I want them. The thing is, is, if I start streaming, then that takes time as well. And, and I do want to stream. I enjoy it thoroughly. Um, but it's just something I'm not going to have a ton of time for at the moment. But like I said, if I can work it out, I'll work it out. Trust me. But I, I've been wanting to play some multiplayer with you all. But I also like single-player streams where we kind of just get to chill out and play something. So I'd still like to kind of strike a mix on it if I can. But um, I would certainly like to play some battles myself, both in Rome 2 and in Warhammer 3. So the Bone Rattlers did come on over to visit me. I didn't really want them to. And they took the Great Skull Lake. Trade agreement? Sure. I think that was the trade agreement that they wanted me to pay for a few turns ago. Well, that's going to be annoying. I can't just let the Bone Rattlers come through here because they're going to screw up my economy. Um, it's already... Uh, it's not terrible at the moment, but it could be better. Raw materials, armaments, conclave influence... Treasury for armaments. I've got a lot of armaments that I don't really need right now, so I'm just going to take the treasury. Um, let's get rid of these Clan Ferrex scoundrels right here. It's predicting medium casualties. It doesn't say any of my units are going to die, though. So I'm just going to go ahead and do this. I don't feel like fighting the rats right now. Hopefully it doesn't come back to bite me in the butt. I'm going to see. We've already got an outpost here. Um, a tower, an outpost, and then Stormbrack Mount we haven't taken. Let's go ahead and throw a factory in here. I really need to... The problem is, is like, I need Clan Ferret kind of completely wrecked, and that might have been pretty much it for them. I don't see any other territory that looks like theirs. This over here could be theirs, but it could also be another... This could very well belong to Clan Mulder. So I'm hoping that's pretty much the end of Clan Ferric. Um, we we can hopefully say good riddance to them, and then I'll just bring this army back down here to beat out the Bone Rattlers who are kind of waltzing around my my main territory here. They won't be able to do much to my my large settlement chains. Um, 
So I'm not super worried about them. And then we, we've got to finish off Clan Rictus over here as well. We're getting Skaven Rebellions over here, which is great. I had tried to set up an ambush here. It didn't work. So I'm just going to move on to Darkhold. Again, just try and smash out Clan Rictus. I'm hoping Kolek decided to listen to us and come after Emric. But there's no guarantee that he's going to... Nope, it looks like he's ignoring us and just <laughs> he's going after Zinch right now. Um, so, yeah, we'll have to probably deal with that myself. So we've got a lot going on. Um, I may be able to get, you know, yet another Hobgobbo army just fine. But uh, I'm going to try and wait just a little bit longer. We've got some skill points to take care of for several characters. The first one is Pizza the Hut Shoot here. Um, you know, you can't out Pizza the Hut. I can't fit that, though I do appreciate Clone Troopers reminder. Um, let's see. I've already got fervent fod uh, fodder. I think I was trying. Yeah, we needed the burning head uh, because we need some blob busting capability. And then I shouldn't have come out of there. Let's actually go back in and hit the next one. This is going to be our convoy overseer. And speaking of, someone wanted me to take a look at our different stuff here. We got a mirror shield. I mean, spell resistance is not useless, but kind of useless. Fire resistance, silvered steel, just an extra 20 armor is probably pretty pretty sweet. Let's put that on. And then let's see, what else do we got? Ever-changing blade. Talisman. Let's go see what talisman. We got the stone mantle here. Effect increases unit takes damage. Interesting. Let's throw that on. Then enchanted items. We've got the radiating spike, which gives perfect vigor. That's pretty darn sweet. We're gonna grab that. And we got crown of skulls here too with regeneration. Dang, I should have been in here way sooner. I don't know what's with all that glitchy weirdness going on on the screen. Okay, but man, we just uh, we just won big time there. Let's look at ancillaries. There's really not much here in terms of ancillaries. Um, let's go back over to magic items and like kind of just work our way through here and see what we can add. Um, melee defense is not bad, so we'll take that. Ogre blade's probably going to give him quite a bit of extra strength. And then let's see what else we get a talisman. Again, spell resistance is not going to be all that good, but I'll throw it on there and then enchanted item. Looks like we don't really have anything available. So we're not going to have a ton of equipment. I don't think the Chaos Dwarves actually get tons of equipment. This guy's got some of this convoy. Dang, man, that's sick. He's loaded from going on all the convoys. It's awesome. And then this convoy overseer, we don't have much here, but, you know, we'll, we'll pass out what we can. And we got a spell shield to throw on there. I don't think we have any more talismans, so it'd be pretty simple. And we'll think we'll come here, throw a sword of strife. I think we've got pretty much everything out there. We can get a power stone on there, which is never a bad deal. So let's throw the power stone on. And then Gordas has the banner of slavery here and the dagger of malice. There's not much else I can give him at the moment. And then, like I said, not much else we can do here either. So let's get to, and as far as ancillaries go, there's really nothing there. Okay, all right. Um, let's take care of the skill points. So thank you for the reminder to look at this. Yes, I I just forget sometimes, folks. I get busy playing and trying to make progress, and I just forget. Uh, that is not the skill point that I want to divvy out. Um, let's do better scales. So yeah, um, thank you for the reminders. It is appreciated. Someone also mentioned the fact that I have three potential active convoys and I'm not sending them all at once. Just buy more convoys. Yes, I can to like just absolutely maximize things. I could buy more convoys like that. I'm choosing not to because I just don't want to mess with like six or seven different convoys and sending them out all the time. But yes, you, you could and it would absolutely be better in terms of min-maxing things. Um, like this convoy is ready to go. I'm basically just sending them on convoys and when they're done, I'm sending them out again. Um, so, but yes, I mean, could I, could I be more efficient in that regard? Absolutely. Uh, absolutely we could. But before I send that convoy, let's take a look. Um, how set for labor are we? We've got a pretty good excess of labor at the moment in most places. 
That's probably because of damage. I'm assuming that'll come back up. I'm gonna take some labor from here and here. Probably here, and then kind of spread it out back over here. And some people were saying, too, that you could turn off the intake on some of these places in order to, you know, get it better spread. That's true. That's a good call out. Like, you, you can turn off the intake for the ones that are way over, and then it'll send it to the others. Um, you can do that. So, yes, that is that is a good point, and then you don't have to spend your money on it. So, another excellent comment. Appreciate it. Um, let's see... Get some building upgrades underway because we have the resources to do so. Try to get these settlements guarded. I'm gonna try and just get some upgrades rolling where we can get the upgrades. Oh, Grey Hag was the one that kept getting attacked, and that may have been a mistake for me to build that. All right. Let's... Oh, we gotta get our convoy dispatched. So it's not gonna hurt me to just keep taking in labor, in my opinion. And then if we decide to use that labor to speed up buildings or to do whatever else with it, I just... I feel like labor is pretty much always valuable. Let's add the master here. There's not a lot of labor over there because we've been hitting that one pretty hard. There's some really close, easy labor. There's this one here, which is not gonna be... Like, we have to pass through some dangerous territory. But, um, decent payback if we get it there. So let's dispatch that and take the risk on that convoy. Someone was saying you can embed leader, or um, you can embed agents into the convoys. I did not know that. If that's true, then it'd be cool to put some sorcerers in there. I knew you couldn't recruit to them, but I wasn't aware that you could embed agents. If that's true, let me know for sure, because that'd be really helpful. All right, let's get busy. I want to finish off some Skaven losers and get back to protecting and start attacking the Bone Rattlers. I think they've got some some settlements that I would like to own. And we need to take care of Emric as well. Now remember, I, I do have to be careful with the Hobgoblin army. It is pretty potent for Hobgoblins, and with the Soul of Damnation in it, it's also going to be pretty nice. Ooh, we can give up some Carbo and pick up a Mammoth. Absolutely. Uh, buildings damage and gain raw material, or destroy the machine and lose raw material. Uh, let's do destroy the machine, because I have enough raw material at the moment. Okay, and the Skaven are kind of still running off into the Abyss over here, probably leaving their settlements unguarded. Yep, that's exactly what they did. Someone had a quote in the comments too that was by Skaven Sun Tzu that was like basically, <laughs> attack where weak, run where strong. <laughs> and I was like, you know what, that actually sounds pretty much exactly like Skaven Sun Tzu. I, I like it. Uh, keep taking some out, post in our... Armaments is up for the moment, which is pretty cool. Speaking of, can can you do anything in the forge with hobgoblins? I don't think you can. Yeah, I don't I don't think we can. That'd be cool if you could. But yeah, no, nothing there for the that's just for the the chaos dwarf units. I just wanted to make sure that I wasn't passing over something. Um, I don't want to go too crazy there at the moment. What's out here? So it looks like my allies hold the rest of that, though Clan Rictus very well could have more territory to my south. And we've got this fully spawned Skaven rebellion here, but it's not going to easily get into my my settlement. Let's see where the rest of those Skaven go. These jerks are raiding on me. Can you all, like, you know, be useful maybe? Um, will they attack them? Apparently they will. Target's not a shared enemy, never mind. Um, go attack them here, like, do something, you know? It's like that meme where the guy's poking things with a stick, like, do something. All right, there we go. Let's see if we can get them to attack Emric. I'm trying to get people to attack him. Sometimes you can take over an army, I believe. Occupy a target, defend target. I don't remember exactly how to do it. Request army. Requires 90 allegiance. I don't remember how long they give you the army for, by the way, but that'd be cool to take their army and go do something useful with it. Um, let's see, Garrison Lord not moved. I do want to go ahead and move. Clan Farrakh besieged me because I do believe they are out of settlements and that is their desperation move. I'm gonna take some extra rat labor off of them. All right, good, Clan Farrakh's gone, so no more worries from them. 
And good riddance. Good riddance to bad rats. I can now take this army and come rattle the bone rattlers. And we'll just let this settlement kind of rebuild itself. Alright, our Taruk gains a skill. And we can put it kind of in a number of places here. Expedition Endeavor is not bad because he's not a particularly fast unit. Extra armor is not going to hurt. Honestly, I'm just going to keep pumping him in here. We got, we got plenty of skill points coming, and I think all of these will be useful in some regard by the end of it. Um, there's building upgrades available. I, I don't want to spend up all my gold at the moment. A lot of these require gold. For the ones that require other things, I wouldn't mind spending a little bit of raw materials or armaments. So let me go take a look around here. Gold, gold, gold. This one's raw material. Increase our output. Let's go ahead and do that. So that'll use up a lot of our raw material. Let's see if we have any armament buildings that need upgraded. I'm not sure if I do right now. You would think that one would be armament since it's like Dreadquake Mortar stuff, but apparently it's not. That I will go ahead and do. Increase my... Let's go ahead and run that upgrade too. So there we've used up pretty much all of my stuff there. Okay, I think we're I think we're okay for now. We could put in another armament based building here and we probably should. Let's do that. That's at our capital anyway. Alright. This one's probably an armament based upgrade as well. Yeah, let's go ahead and just put those to work. There we go. Alright, let's end our turn. Tower influence. We've got a fair bit of tower influence as well. I think we took back this one, gave us the better tariffs. I'm just kind of checking armaments per turn and armament output 5%. We could steal that one, that one wouldn't be bad. Was one of these the Dreadquake thing? Go up here and see what we got. Unit capacity. Chosen Bull Centaur could die or Flying Monster. That could be pretty nice too. This is our summon, and I like that. I also like the Dreadquake Bombardment. This is the Wrath of Jar Bombardment. Tier 3 is not open yet. So, do we want to steal a seed or grab one of these open ones? The open ones, we could get unit... Extra units, I mean, which would be nice. Additional bombardments, which would also be nice. I kind of want to just totally churn economy here. Magic item or talisman every few turns would be pretty nice too, because we're not getting a ton of those. I don't know. Let's just go armaments. Um, claim that seed off of them. I've still got a fair bit of tower uh, or conclave influence. Let's go check that out. And maybe there's... Yeah, we can still get one more. Let's go ahead and grab this one as well. Alright, there we go. So, we'll get ourselves quite a bit of tower influence. Okay. Um, I think we made our moves for the turn. Yes. Let's see what happens on this turn end. Hopefully we can get some good battles in here. The Skaven are not only annoying to fight in battle, but they rarely do fight you in a battle unless they outnumber you about 2 to 1 in terms of armies. Then they will occasionally engage you. Uh, but the Skaven, that's just kind of the way they fight. They they don't like to get involved unless they think it's all in their favor. I see that Clan Rictus up there is suffering attrition. That could be because of the chaos, but it makes me wonder. Um, I want to go look at the map and see if they still have territory. Settlement receives plague at Darkhold. That's fantastic, which means my army got it too. So thanks for nothing, Nurgle, you stinking slob. All right. Um... I'm going to go up here and help. Moving. We're going to take attrition from this plague, too. Awesome. It happens to be the kind of plague that's going to give me attrition for nine, or five freaking turns. I, fr I hate plague attrition. It is... I, I think plague should slow you down. It should take away weapon damage. 
It can do all kinds of crazy stuff. Now, some people might be like, well, Eric, it's plague. Of course it can kill people. I know it can. It ruins the pace of the game. Like, just absolutely ruins it because your army just has to run around for five turns, utterly feckless when it comes to it. And it just it destroys the pacing of the game. So I hate it. Like, absolutely hate it. In every way imaginable. <laughs> I used to use a um, mod to turn it off, and would probably gladly do so again um, at some point. I should have had the intake turned on here because now we need labor. And we've got it in the wrong spots. Actually, let's put those back there and let's take it here. Uh, surplus to and kind of stick it on top there so icing on the cake except that's gonna cost me some gold to make that move all right so we got our labor reallocated so our raw materials income could be higher um, and probably should be higher let's take a look at strip mines strip mines require the cash so we're gonna have to just spend up some cash to get our strip mines rolling this building here will increase output too so that'll be useful Bone Rattlers are on the move again. I hope my ally... Can you, like, go somewhere else and attack someone? Like, here or something? I don't want them to come in and steal my province out from underneath my nose. I'm going to be kind of irritated by that. I might be able to hand them, like, tribe slaughter or something if they take it and try and get mine back so that I can own the whole province. I hate it when my allies do this kind of crap. It's an ir it's irritating. So it's like, rather than come help fight the army, like, oh, no, but we'll come snatch that province we want right out from underneath you. So I do, like, I'm glad that they put province trading back in the game. Um, but at the same time, like, it still doesn't allow you to trade in every situation. And it can get annoying sometimes. Let's see, Master of Conclave... Allied Recruitment Costs, Infernal Lord, Hero Recruit Capacity. I don't really need any of these things terribly bad. Just do this one that keeps the other Chaos Dwarves happy with me. I really want that Dark Sacrifice. Okay. Tribe Slaughter. Let's go ahead and throw in some defenses. And I'm going to make an upgrade there. Go ahead and make an upgrade there. And let's go ahead and upgrade that. Alright, so spent some of my money. Let's end our turn. And be about the business of his shoot here. Our other convoys should be ready to send out as well, so let's go check on them. I think I've got another one that'll probably be ready to go out on this turn. Alright, the Bone Rattlers are attacking again, but this time it says they're gonna lose, which is kind of amazing, because I guess just these few Chaos Infantry or Chaos Dwarf Infantry are making the difference. So, well done, losers. I'd be so pissed if the Gormandy tribe took that settlement. I think they probably did. Convoy encounter. Find your own path, keep moving at a normal pace, and reduce the time. I just find your own path. Um... I'm not worried about moving at a faster pace. Yeah, you jerks. I hate you. Like, I literally hate you. <laughs> Worthless waste of space on the map. <sighs> Always ready for a headbutt. Can't stop contest. the enemy from taking something, but by gosh, they'll step right in and take something that I want. You have to like, but you just give it to me. <laughs> Threaten coordination. Nah, I'm gonna have to trade with them. It's irritating because they apparently they want this other one a whole lot more. Go ahead and take it, jerks. Great Skull Lake. That's not what I wanted, but I'm gonna trade these and then I'm gonna extract whatever little bit of cash I can get out of them. These guys are pretty useless. 
Um, not much else I can get from him, so I'm just going to go Fine. ahead and do it. There. I gave him that settlement we just took. I don't own that whole province anyway, so no big deal to me. I want Great Skull Lake back. It was my my raw material component to this province anyway. Take is on. Okay. Accept that. Awesome. Okay. That stupid Skaven Rebellion. I think we dealt with it. Yeah, we dealt with it. I'm sitting here taking pointless attrition for however many more turns I have to put up with this. It looks like Clan Rictus is getting fairly desperate. They are no longer suffering attrition, so I'm guessing they actually have other settlements. Let's go see how many they've got so I can try and get an idea of what territory is theirs. It says they only have two more. Skaven settlements are easy to spot, obviously. Could be these two. All of this is Skaven over here, too. So, they're probably just off to the south of me. I wonder... Would they be interested there? Yeah, they don't have any interest in peace, of course. They wouldn't do the smart thing. Do I just start chasing them? Gotta eventually knock out Karazakarak, and that could be actually their last settlement right there. Let's go check that out. And then they've got two. They've got one more off map somewhere, so it does make some sense to get rid of Karazakarak, but we could take. This could be a different Skaven tribe there, though, which is what worries me. I don't want another Skaven war at the moment. Like, it's just kind of pointless. I don't want to go from here. we got to get rid of the Bone Rattlers. They've got quite a bit of territory. Skaven very well could pop up on me, but if I send this army up here, I, it, it's going to do one of a couple of things. It's going to either draw the Skaven out of hiding, and we'll see what's going on, or, you know, it'll give us an opportunity. Did you, like, not want to, like, get to work, man, get something done. Tell you what, make yourself useful. All right, um... Need to get our technology rolling again, and then we're gonna. Put requirement for raw materials minus ten percent. Don't have the raw materials for that, so I can't trigger it. Let's take a look at sorcery. Ends of magic cost for death sorcery is not gonna make much difference. The moment. This is kind of a decent thing here to get all that extra conclave influence. Um, let's see. Yeah, peak. Let's go ahead and save some of this and dispatch some convoys. That's what I needed to do is dispatch the convoys. Um, we're about to get a lot of labor in a few turns, and we're doing pretty well on labor anyway. So let's take this convoy, maybe set out for raw materials. I don't have a ton of gold to trade right now. Um, so I could either trade armaments for gold, or I could try and trade armaments for raw material. Uh, we get a lot of gold from right there. That'd be pretty sweet, actually. Holy labor over here. Woo, a Caron car. Apparently, Alariel's taking, taking uh, servants here. Yikes. And then Grung's in. Same thing with the Bretonians. Silver steel swords as well. I mean, there's... Just we could, give, we could get a little bit of raw material there, but it doesn't look that good. Um, and we could get some crazy labor. But like I said, I'm doing pretty good on labor, and we're about to get a bunch more. So I think, I think I'm just going to go for a whole bunch of cash here. Let's dispatch that. And then after two more turns, we'll be ready to dispatch this one as well. Okay. All right. We got a commandment available because we took back over this. Income from refinery buildings, armaments 10%. Our slavery construction costs. This will be alright. This will be alright. Um, raw material outputs. 
Let's go end our turn here. Okay. Got our hobgoblin army marching back down. We could look for opportunities against the greenskins with this army. The greenskins excel in combat, and they're pretty good against low armor, which would be pretty much the entirety of my hobgoblin army. Um... Not that I don't want to see what that army can do. I certainly do. And I guess if it gets killed, it's a low priority for us anyway. But And of course, we could always upgrade the army into a Chaos Dwarf army. But I'm kind of thinking I want to keep it this way. We can add some cutthroats to this army. Um, I don't know, man. If we just wait, we can probably get better units from completing the convoys. I don't think cutthroats are going to be all that important. Uh, let's just replenish. Um, there we go. Convoy contracts. Take a look at the labor situation here. I've got two provinces that are... What happened here at the Skull Road? Where's the Skull Road? I think one of my buildings may have gotten messed up. Um, Skull Road, Skull Road. Take me there. Oh, we gave up the province, so we no longer need those laborers there. Okay. We gave up the settlement, sorry, is what I should say. I don't really need this Hobgoblin building there anymore either, so I'll just put something else in. Um, let's see... I need to take that labor then and reallocate it. So let's go do so. So the Skull Road no longer needs this, so we're gonna turn that off and take that labor out. And we will throw it here, here. Like that, except. Okay, back up to 100%. All right, so we've got our labor efficiency sorted. Our income is coming back up quickly. We're doing really well in armaments. Uh, we're doing pretty good on raw materials. We could do a whole lot better, and we will, because um, we just got to go basically get our hands on some more territory. Did the Skaven come out of hiding yet? No, not really. They'll show up as soon as I'm gone, uh, no doubt. So I may, I may start a new army down here and... It may not have to be a really big one, but just big enough to ward off Skaven. And then if I head up here, there's some really good territory we can take off the Bone Rattlers. I, that gold mine is what I really want. But we'll just go, we'll go smack them down. Take some of their territory. And I really want to get a battle in, but I don't, I don't think anybody's going to be willing to fight me on this episode. <laughs> So I think it's going to be a battle-free episode, unfortunately, unless something changes here before the end. I guess I could have fought one of those ones earlier that I thought was just too small to mess with. But certainly looking like the only battles that are going to be thrown at me are defensive settlement. All right, so here's Clan Rictus, the Gates of Jar. Annoying jerks. All right, so I'm going to have to go retake that. Looks like Skaven Sun Tzu attacked us again here. What do you want? Why do you keep talking to me? You're creepy. <laughs> We've got really low reliability right now because I gave up on Village whenever Kolek declared war on him, by the way, if anybody's wondering why that's low. We're going to keep moving as normal. Um, I need... Where's the Gates of Zar? Okay, right here. I've taken damage, but they're still not going to be able to beat this army, so I'm just going to roll over here with this, because I'm still waiting on them to get over their idiotic plague. The waste of time plague. Thank you very much, CA. Giving us a mechanic that, well, at least to me, is not very fun at all. But I don't know, I guess some people like having their campaign arbitrarily slowed. Um, plague mechanic, again, I'm good with plague mechanic. Fine with it. I understand that it's realistic for people to die from plague and thus the attrition. Again, not arguing with that. What I do not like is that it ruins the flow of the game. And to me, the trade-off is not worth it. 
So that's why I don't like it. Alright. Gotta need some armaments to upgrade that. Got a final building we can put in here. This would be pretty good for the reduce the cost of bull centaurs. Let's go ahead and do that. I like having all the unique buildings where we get the opportunity to. Gotta make some upgrades here too, so we'll just make that whole province a little better off. Alright, let's see if I can catch some Skaven and kill him on this next turn. Ally has been attacked. Northern provinces is attacking Kolek? That seems pretty desperate. Didn't look like they had much of a chance either. I'm sure Clan Rictus just took off running from their newly found settlement. Their Skaven bravery setting in, no doubt. The uh, garrisons for the Chaos Dwarves, are, they're not horrible, but they're not very good in the minor settlements. They're uh, full of hobgoblins, essentially, and it's sometimes okay against Skaven, but anybody with real troops... Destroy a Dragon Ogre Shagoth? Heck no. Keep moving as normal. Why would I get rid of a Dragon Ogre Shagoth? It seems like the worst trade ever. You know what's nice about having single entity um, artillery? Oh, look at this. They took it and then left. Like, just totally left. They, oh, no, no, they raised it. Okay, they raised it. I was thinking maybe they left it totally open here. We're doing really fine on armament production, so I'm just going to go ahead and colonize this as an outpost for now. Alright, so try and rebuild this. And if we start to get ahead, of course, I'll just start adding more factories as we get in. Still no battle to be found. No battle to be offered. No battle to be found. I'm going to just move over here as close to the mountain range as I can and try and bounce up here into... Oh, there is a gold mine up here. Karak Ungor. I'll see if we can get up to Karak Ungor and take that gold mine. That would be pretty sweet, actually. Let's just go ahead and end a turn real quick. Um, we got... We can reissue our commandment here. Let's output... Construction... Don't want to spread any more plague. Alright, our other convoy is ready to be dispatched, so let's grab it. And... I'm just going to do this quick one here. Dispatch that. Okay. All right. We got three convoys out. And let's go ahead and in this turn, see if we can maybe go grab that settlement off the Bone Rattlers. We're definitely in the territory to be able to recruit another army. So I think we will do that on the next episode. We'll start another army. It doesn't have to be a full-size one. And we'll try and start it somewhere where it can be useful for us, like... Maybe taking out Emric, or just defending our southern territory against Clan Rictus until we're finished with the Bone Rattlers. I'm not super concerned about Emric at the moment. He doesn't seem to be getting out of control. And if my allies would actually follow my request and attack him, we could probably get rid of him really quickly. Cost of moving this turn. Um, gain extra experience. That's a lot of unit experience. Let's do some combat drills. All right. There we go. Um, and then let's see if we can bounce up into the mountains here. They're building an army here, but if I can go ahead and go snag Karak Ungor, that would be pretty awesome. Great Skull Lake. Let's go ahead and uh, put our defense back up. Rebuild that. Okay. Um, so again, I'm working on raw materials. Want to try and push that up. And... Got an opportunity there. Let's see. Retook. I don't see any more scaven around. These guys are getting on my nerves too. They're kind of pointless. Not sure why they're being... You know what? I need a battle too. And it's the end of the episode. So you know what? Let's kill some beastmen. I don't think these guys can run away from me. 
Not far enough, at least. Yes! Alright, good. We'll get a battle in here in the end, so I will see you all on the battle map. Alright, I feel like we have some new units we should get close up on. This is the uh, Demon's Tongue Dreadquake Mortar. It already just launched a shot. Let's go watch that in action. It was just targeting a unit of uh, Minotaurs. Not gonna be great against them, but they may have been standing near some other hidden units, which may be useful. Um, honestly, Magma Cannons are pretty good against Monstrous Infantry. They, they certainly are, aren't bad. Um, so I'm going to just put a little bit of hurt here on the Beastmen and see if we can force the issue here. Man, the Dreadquake Mortar sounds and looks so cool. I love that big base hit whenever it hits the ground and then the explosion. Like, it, it is really a satisfying unit. I don't think they're going to want to stay here and take this kind of punishment. We've got our other bombardments here as well. Let's try this one out. I don't think it's going to... Uh, they're about to start moving. Never mind, let's take it easy. We'll wait till we can get a hold of some of their units. They're, they're going to have to come towards me here. <laughs> I've got plenty of ammo, so I'm really not worried about... ammo being an issue there. We killed a... Uh, I thought we might kill a unit with their uh, entity, but we didn't. Uh, the Dreadquake Mortar, why don't you just chill there for a minute. Woo! You got hit hard with the uh, Magma Cannon there. Still can't see any of their units. Let's maybe go do a little bit of scouting here with our Taurus. I mean, are you guys just going to sit here and take this? Like, I really don't, don't think that's in your interest. We could use this Kadai Summon to do our scouting for us. Let's do that. There we go. All right. Dreadquake Mortar, take your pick. I'm gonna target um, Archer units here. Oh yeah, watch this, watch this. Ooh, I <laughs> love it. <laughs> Get wrecked, beast freaks. All right, here comes the blunderbussing. Let's try some of our new bombardments out here to uh, roughly right there. Throw that one right there. Oh man, I love the Dreadquake Mortar. I just absolutely love it. <laughs> this feels unfair, but I don't care. All right, what happened here is I got charged by some Minotaur. It's probably out of counter charge him. Warhounds charged me there, and they're getting nowhere. I was too busy enjoying my artillery here. Yeah, wrong target there, Dreadquake Mortar, but it's okay. I like it. A for effort. I don't know if any of the Beastmen outside of those Minotaurs are going to actually reach our battle line alive. Oh, look at the melting of those Minotaurs. Woo. That is not happening. That is just not going to happen today. Oh, those Minotaurs actually did reach my line for a very brief moment in time. Wow, these Beastmen were completely out of their league. Like, just utterly out of their league. Man, yeah, that's that's pretty wicked. All right, awesome. We got some battle in. Hope you all enjoyed it. That's actually going to be it for this episode, and I will see you all next time.